Good evening, good evening. This is Marie Holiday, and I hope everybody had a fabulous week. And uh, before we get started, please hit that subscribe button and notification button. And I really do want to thank everyone for blocking out time to view my videos, to support my channel. Continue to send me your comments. I'm getting more and more comments from a lot of my subscribers with requests for me to present certain topics. And I really do appreciate that. So with that being said, let's get down to today's lecture. The focus of this lecture is going to be how can financial issues have a direct impact on a person's well-being. And before I get into that, I just want to remind the audience that the whole really concept of my channel is talking about topics in terms of finances, money, investing, how to empower yourself financially, how to control your money. You know, although I talk about other topics, which I do, but from time to time, I'm always going to revisit and present topics that tie directly into the concept of my channel. You know, if the audience is aware, at one point in my life, I was living in financial destruction. So for the past several years, about the seven, past seven to eight years, when I learned how to master my money and had a spiritual awakening, God gave me the skills to control my money. Because of that, it caused me to create this channel. So with that being said, let's get down to today's topic. How can financial issues have an impact on a person's well-being. First of all, mental health and financial safety are strongly linked. It's a direct correlation. And there are some signs that financial stress is affecting your mental well-being. And I'm going to present seven signs that, a per that financial stress is affecting a person's well-being. So pay attention. Number one, arguing with people closest to you about money. Where is the money? Why is it or why isn't the bills getting paid? Arguing that can be arguments with a significant other, your mother, father, sister, brother, but constant arguing with people closest to you about money. I'm here to tell you. Number two, sign indicator that financial stress can affect a person's well-being is having trouble sleeping. When a person is drowning in debt, not able to pay their bills, worried about borrowing from Peter to pay Paul, that would have a direct impact on uh, um, not being able to have a sound night's sleep. Trouble falling asleep or not being able to remain asleep and that is directly linked to financial stress. Third indicator that um, financial stress can lead to feeling angry or fearful. You know, when a person is, is, is drowning in a sea of debt, not enough money to pay the bills, it's gonna, they're going to have always a feeling of anger or fearful feeling because they're worried about the bills. The, the late notices are coming in the mail. The bill collectors are calling, sending letters, calling. So feelings of anger or fearful in relation to that financial stress. Fourth indicator that financial problems can create stress. The person will begin to have mood swings. You know, they can be crying. They can be depressed. They can be laughing one minute and then crying the next because that financial stress, the variation about the bills and the collection notices and the late notices, the person will begin to have multiple mood swings in relation to that, that financial stress. Number five, in relation to uh, financial stress can create tiredness. You know, if the person is at work worried about the bills, you know, driving home worried about the bills, at home worried about the bills, you know, scared to go to the mailbox, that conscious, conscious thought surrounding uh, drowning in a sea of debt will mentally make the person tired, physically make the person tired, and I'm here to tell you. Number six, in terms of how financial stress can affect the mental well-being in terms of loss of appetite. 
So when a person is constantly worried about bills, constantly worried about money, scared to go to the mailbox, at work, can't even focus, that'll also create loss of appetite. They may not have an appetite for lunch, may not have an appetite for breakfast or dinner because they're constantly worried about how they're going to get out of this sea of debt that continues to pile and pile and pile. And number seven, in terms of how financial stress can have an effect on a person's mental well-being, is the person will begin to withdraw from others, or withdraw from going to family functions, taking trips with family because they're so worried about the debt and the bills and the credit card bills and the car note behind and the lights about to get cut off. So they're not really able to enjoy doing family functions or, or watching a movie with family or loved ones. They're going to begin to withdraw from others. So those are seven ways in regards to how financial stress can have a direct impact on a person's mental well being. And I'm here to tell you. So what is the solution? It's got to be a solution to all of this in their years. And I'm going to point out a few solutions. The first thing is the individual must change their mindset about money. You got to change your mindset. You, first of all, you got to admit that there's a problem. I'm here to tell you. Because if the person does not admit that they have a financial problem and their life is out of control financially, they first got to admit it to themselves. And that begins with that mindset. And after that mindset change, then the individual must got to develop a game plan. Gonna have to develop a game plan to get out of debt. Gonna have to. I don't care if they have to sit down and collect all of their bills and, and, and take a look at all of them bills and write down all of them bills and then take a look at all what's, a bill, all what's going out. That's the bills and what's coming in your income. So you're going to have to develop a game plan. And, and, and it, it can be, even mean getting help to develop a game plan. But that's the second step. You're going to have to develop a game plan and gather every single bill that you have. And then develop a strategic plan to resolve that issue. And that can also mean you may have to get yourself a side hustle. Once you gather them bills and sit down and look at it and write down what's coming in and what's going out. If you see ain't enough money, then because you already changed your mind step is step, step one. So the next step, it may be to get a side hustle to generate some additional money and then but have a purpose for that money. Don't generate that extra money you're still spending. No, get that side hustle for a specific purpose. To get yourself out of debt. And I'm here to tell you. And another important piece also too. And I'm going to just say this and put it out there. Is a lot of people are drowning in a sea of debt. Because they are trying to keep up with the Joneses. So another solution may be for some people. Stop trying to keep up with the Joneses. Because keeping up with the Joneses will keep you in debt. And I'm here to tell you. And unfortunately, I used to live in Atlanta, Georgia. And I saw that a lot in terms of people trying to keep up with your Joneses. Because, you know, there are a lot of people out there, especially living in Atlanta, making a lot of money. And if you're just a regular person like me or most people with a regular income, there ain't nowhere in the rural you're going to be able to keep up with the Joneses and these people making millions of dollars a year. And I'm here to tell you. So that is the solution in regards to uh, getting out of a financial crisis, and I'm here to tell you. So please, that's all I have, ladies and gentlemen. Please do not forget to hit my subscribe button, support, and subscribe to my channel. Continue to send me comments. I respond to my comments, and I really do like the trajectory of where this channel is going. I really do. Uh, so with that being said, simplify, simple fidelis, and I'm going to leave you in the care of your own conscience. Have a great evening.